Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a reading for my dearest Scorpios. Scorpio, this is going to be a monthly, an April monthly check-in reading where we take a look at the theme for the month um, and we take a look at goals to pursue, what to avoid, um, where to find support. And we're going to take a look at love and romance, but also we're going to look at career and finances and just see what messages come through or what you should be focused on or what you need to know for the month of April. Now, this is a newer type reading for my channel. So if this is something that you like, or even if you don't like it, drop me a comment down below and let me know. I would love to see, you know, to read your feedback here. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start with some Oracle card messages. Um, so clear messages, advice, and guidance, please, for my Scorpios. What is the energy that they need to, that they need more of, or they need to focus on in the month of April? Clear messages, advice, and guidance for my Scorpios, please. Religion and spirituality, okay. Support, interesting. And changing your mind, okay, interesting. So some of you might be shifting some of your personal beliefs. Um, some of you also might be finding support within the spiritual community this month. Um, and we see retirement. Okay, so some of you, maybe you're considering retirement. Um, but for those of you that are not retired or not considering retirement, um, this is also just about really focusing on your, your passions, your hobbies, um, and also more free time. Um, because there is more to this human existence than just working all the time, right? So <laughs> um, let's go ahead and get into this. Let's see what other messages come through for my dearest Scorpios. <clears throat> let's see what clear messages, advice, and guidance come through for my Scorpios, please. Now I will be clarifying these cards. So if I do move through them quickly, just know that. All right, so we have... Your current energy, the lovers, Gemini energy. Yeah, some of you have a really big decision to make. Maybe you've been changing your mind a lot. It could be about a person or a situation, what you want to do, what you want to do for work, where you want to go from here. The theme of the month is the sun, your happiness. A key goal to pursue emperor energy. Ooh, look at these powerful cards coming through for you. An obstacle to overcome, the ace of cups. A major accomplishment, the Queen of Pentacles. What to avoid, the Seven of Swords in reverse. Okay, interesting. And what to embrace, the Page of Swords. Where to find support, Scorpio energy. And advice and encouragement, we have the Queen of Wands. Okay, I'm getting like a major go for it vibe here from this reading, Scorpio. So I'm just going to move these cards over. I don't know why I was laying them out that way. And your overall energy is the Four of Wands. So this is also about enjoying life, enjoying the process. This is also telling me here that you are protected. There's stability and security coming to you, Scorpios. Now, it could be, you know, via a relationship. But for a lot of you, I feel like it's going to be about your finances because I really got for an obstacle for you to overcome the Ace of Cups. It's taking that spark, taking that passion and taking those first steps to make it really, truly happen. Now, of course, it might be, you know, asking that person out, you know, that you have your eye on. It could be, you know, taking a relationship to the next level. But I really do feel it's more so about, you know, a career and finance for a lot of you. Now, the lover's card energy here showing up in reverse tells me that you might have a little bit of anxiety around, you know, the or in the month of April, because it, feel, it looks like you're feeling a little bit indecisive and maybe you just, you're, you're not sure. Some of my Scorpios, you may feel like you kind of get bored easily, so you're not sure if this is something that you really want to commit to or invest in. All right, and we see the Eight of Swords energy in reverse, but Spirit's saying the more time that you spend in your head thinking rather than doing Scorpio, it, it the worse it's it's going to get. So if there's a need for there's there's a need for action, and for some of my Scorpios, I feel like this action is like it it might feel a little bit risky, but it's about finding out for yourself. Like enough thinking about it, but now you have to you know 
ask that person how they really feel. Ask that person out. I'm kind of getting like a bite the bullet energy or, you know, it's taking those first steps. Maybe you're thinking about, you know, doing something like starting a YouTube, YouTube channel. It's about putting that first video out. Um, if it's about looking at, you know, changing careers, it's about, you know, sending out applications or applying for, you know, the schooling or certification that you need. But it's like there is a need for you to get out of your head and take action. And the theme of the month of April is growth and expansion and happiness because it's really about keying into Scorpio what is going to bring you happiness because I feel that you're ready for a change. I feel you've been ruminating about something, thinking about something. And again, it's time to bring it out of the mental body and into the physical. And that's what I'm getting here. It's also about really trusting and believing in yourself and being optimistic that, you know, those of you that want to change your circumstances, that you certainly can but you have the power to do that. And the four of pentacles, all right? So it is. it doesn't necessarily mean you have to spend a lot of money either, okay? And whatever this is going, you know, whatever this is, if you're gonna ask somebody out, right? It doesn't mean you have to like take them, you know, uh, you know, take them to the best and most expensive place. If you do something that's sentimental and sweet and indicative of who you are, that's gonna be enough for the right person. For others of you, you know, it's about if you're starting a new project. I mean, yes, sometimes we have to make investments in like equipment and things like that. But for a lot of my Scorpios, it's like you have what you need. Um, just it's like it's more about taking that first step rather than, you know, making like some serious financial investments. I do feel that some of you as well, you might be looking at, you know, um, and this is a this is a reminder for the month of April. We are moving into uh, Mercury retrograde and the four of pentacles is always a reminder to not spend more than you have to right and when that can be energy or that can actually be cash or, or or what have you but because we have a Mercury retrograde in April as well just be careful of like your spending um, but you know there's an energy here of holding back and taking a look at and um, taking a look at what your dreams are and um, when we write down our dreams and we write down the steps that we think we need to get to you know, to achieve them. That's when we have a plan. That's when, you know, our dreams become goals, right? Um, and so we have a key goal for you to pursue is the emperor energy. Some of you, you want to be in business for yourself. And again, it's like taking those first steps, Scorpio. For others of you, you're ready for that serious commitment. And this is you stepping up. Um, but this is you being strategic. And this is also about you being in your power. This actually the emperor to me is complete freedom. It's financial freedom. It's emotional freedom. Um, yeah, so I definitely, I love this energy for you. Yeah. And we see the hermit card. So take a look at all the details. It's important to be aware, prepared to be discerning for a lot of you. You might need to, if you have like what seems like a lofty goal or dream, chunk it out, break it down into smaller steps. And if it's about, you know, investing in a person or a relationship, it's like looking at all the details. Um, and I, I feel like a lot of my Scorpios, you're looking at, okay, like what, what do we need here to move forward or, um, yeah, or, you know, is this relationship beneficial for me? Um, you know, is marriage beneficial for me? Is commitment beneficial for me at this time? Um, so I do feel like, you know, during this Mercury retrograde, which is going to happen throughout the, mo uh, the majority of April, like the beginning, but then we have the shadow period. So it starts in the beginning and goes towards, you know, it's a couple of weeks long, um, spirits telling you to do a lot of reflection and holding back and really, really breaking down Scorpio. Like what is it that makes you happy? And, and what are the steps that you think you need to take to get there? And like really writing it down, making that plan. Um, so an obstacle to overcome, I feel like we've kind of covered it with the Ace of Cups. It's like making something that you're passionate about and that you see a lot of potential, making it real. And we see the high priestess energy in reverse. I love that because the high priestess energy in reverse is like, okay, make sure that, you know, you can trust your intuition. Um, some of my Scorpios, you need to come out with this idea. Um, again, it doesn't mean that you necessarily need to, you know, tell everybody what you're doing. I'm a firm believer in like, whether it's a new relationship or whether it's like a new business idea or a project that you're working on, I am a firm believer of keeping it close to your chest until it's out of those nascent stages where somebody's opinion or somebody's, you know, negative energy can't affect it, where it's in a, you know, where it's strong enough. So I do feel like for a lot of you, it is about, you know, you've been keeping something close to your chest here, but it, it feels like it's ready to come out. You're ready to tell people or you're ready to show 
people who you are or what you've got or what you're doing. But I do see that being a bit of an obstacle. And I also feel too, some of my Scorpios, um, like I said, you do have to be careful of pessimism um, or, you know, looking at all the reasons why this can't work or why this won't work. And um, a major accomplishment here is the Queen of Pentacles. Again, she's a planner. She's an organizer. Um, she takes good care of herself, her house, her home, her finances. She has a nest egg. Again, there's something here about like whatever that you're doing, don't take yourself to zero if it comes to finances. You know, invest a little bit at a time or save up for it. But don't, you know, don't definitely go and like blow like all of your savings on investing in equipment. Um, you know, start start, start, start doing it first. If that's, if that's possible, um, because I do feel with the queen of pentacles, this is you sitting pretty, this is you reaching your goals, but it's also about you being patient. So it's like, even though spirit's showing us to get out of your head and, and, and hit the ground running here, Scorpio, at the same time, be patient or start planning on how you can hit the ground running. Um, and we see the page of pentacles. Yeah. You're going to start something new here. This is something new. This is something in alignment with you. It's something that you're ready to start. But again, you're not going to just be impulsive and jump into it. And Aries energy, especially when we have a new moon coming up in Aries in about two weeks, it's a perfect time to start something new. It, it is the energy, but it's going to be a Mercury retrograde. And so you, you know, you may just give yourself the time that you need to really think things through how you want to make this new beginning and plan and plan for it. And if it is something that's not particularly time sensitive, you know, it's like you get the ball rolling in the month of April and you set, you set a goal, you set a date here. Um, so, and, and I feel like, I also feel like my Scorpios with the, with the queen of pentacles, page of pentacles, some of you, it might be a health issue. And I see this um, being quite beautiful. Um, just one moment. Okay, my dear Scorpio, sorry about that. If you noticed, there was like a little pause. I don't know if the camera picked up on the big thud, um, but I have some neighbors who are trimming some trees and it really sounded like, you know, the whole, something just fell and, and the whole floor kind of jumped. So I do apologize. It, it was a bit distracting. Um, but for some of you with the Queen of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles here, um, this is also reaching health and wellness goals, starting like a new, you know, starting a new practice that's going to be beneficial for you. That's going to bring you into like a healthier, healthier energy, healthier, healthier state for the physical body, but also the mental body, emotional body. Um, so what to avoid, we have the seven of swords in reverse. Okay. And we have the three of cups in reverse. I, I feel like spirit saying you want to avoid, um, I, I try to avoid, uh, people and situations that are really draining for you. Um, also, you know, people and situations that, um, tend to pull you off balance. So I'm seeing here, like you might have a lot of invitations here to go out, um, and again, I'm not saying that you don't go out, you don't have fun, or you don't see your friends, or you don't have that glass of wine. Um, but be careful of situations that tend to really drain you financially and or physically. So again, it's not about isolating. Um, although I do feel like some of you may be isolating a little bit more either to reach a personal goal or to get this business off the ground or to spend more time with that special someone. But I also feel like it is important that you avoid situations that are going to be draining you financially or leaving you with some sort of hangover, whether it's an actual hangover or, you know, it's an emotional hangover, right? So it's about taking a look at people and situations that drain your, drain your time, energy, love, money, and resources, and, and really saying no, setting strong boundaries with those situations in the month of April. Spirit saying what to embrace the page of swords, embrace this new journey. It's a journey that you're ready for. It's going to bring you stability. Actually conflicts that you've been experiencing are going to disappear or dissipate. Um, because I also feel like you putting in this hard work and being very serious and doing this planning and taking these first steps towards whatever this is, Scorpio, um, you're going to see that it might kind of feel a little bit difficult at first, but the five of wands energy in reverse, it's going to bring you to this four of wands. Some of you might be saving up to buy a house. Some of you might be starting a business where you can work from home if that's what you really want to do or work for yourself. And the, there's, I'm seeing here that what to embrace are the rewards. This is a new beginning that's going to bring you to the four of wands. 
and the four of wands can also be marriage. It can be commitment. So it could be a relationship that is going to be, you know, I feel like there's a lot of overthinking going on and looking at like all the negatives here, um, which is important to do. I mean, it's important to look at both the positive and negative about any sort of change, but I, I feel like it's going to be overwhelmingly positive for you. So where to find support? We see the death and the rebirth card, that Scorpio energy. So maybe there's an important Scorpio person around you, friend or family member. And we see, yeah, or Scorpio or Aries person. Um, you know, I feel like Spirit's saying some of you might have mentors. Um, it could be people that like mentored you or like professors or teachers. Um, or there could be, there there could be, I just feel there's, a, there's another Scorpio or Aries person around you um, that may be giving you good advice. I, I feel there's a strong message here of like picking up the phone and calling, you know, if there is that person, if you do know who I'm talking about. Um, and, and remember to get advice, Scorpio, from people that have been successful and done what you're trying to do. Um, some of you, you know, if it is about taking the next step in a relationship, marriage or having children, you know, um, you know, it might be like advice from somebody that you respect within your religious or spiritual community. Um, um, and maybe somebody also who's retired and who was successful at what they did. Remember, everybody has an opinion, um, but you want to take advice from those of, from those that have done what you're trying to do or have been successful in doing what you're trying to do. Um, the Queen of Wands, wow, and the Emperor, your advice is you, for some of you, you're calling in a really amazing person or partner. The Queen of Wands and the Emperor is almost like, for me, Emperor and Empress energy. But I also feel like Scorpio is you're bossing up in a big way and the changes that it's going to bring to your life are going to be very, very powerful. But I can see that you've been wishy-washy. I, I can see that maybe you've changed your mind a bunch. Um, and don't listen to people, for example, that are that, you know, that say, oh, are you sure you want to do that? You know, you you know, you haven't followed through in the past. Like that's the kind of advice and that's the kind of energy that I do want you to stay away from because it's underhanded and you're making some sort of major decision that's going to have beautiful ramifications for you, you know, beautiful outcome. Um and we see the death card energy in reverse. So I, I do kind of feel like we're hearing this message here of like, let go and let God, right? Because this is, this is, this is your path, Scorpio. This is what you're truly meant to be doing. Um, and yeah, and I feel like spirit's giving you like a major go for it. It's time to boss up. You're ready to boss up. You're ready for the next level. And April is giving you, giving you time to do some reflection, plan. How are you going to make your dreams a goal? You know, chunking it out, writing it down. Um, but it, it's also giving you that inspiration to, to go for it. And I feel you're a lot of my Scorpios, you're going to be quite, you're going to be spending time on your own in that hermit, hermit mode, looking at all the details. But I, I feel like that's where you may need to be in order to move forward. And, um, but there's, it's about striking a balance too, about not getting too in your head. When it comes to love and relationships, Scorpio, we get clarity, truth, revelation, protection, and power. So the sword in the rose is definitely an indication of like two birds of a feather. Um, you know, this could be the start of a new relationship, or maybe you already have someone in mind here that you're looking to, you know, uh, to take to the next level with them. I see that being a very positive outcome. Yeah, this is unconditional love. It's reciprocated. It's giving and receiving affection. Some of my Scorpios, you will be falling in love. And, and again, it might be something you've been pessimistic about or doubting, but I do feel too that there could be somebody very special here on their way towards you. Maybe you're already dating this person. Um, I know, um, you know, we hear a lot of doom and gloom about Mercury retrogrades um, not being great time to start relationships. I mean, that can be the case, but it doesn't have to be a self-fulfilling prophecy. So if you are meeting somebody in April, just take it slow, you know, take a look at, you know, are you compatible? Enjoy the journey, enjoy the process, stay very present. Um, but for a lot of you, you know, you may already be dating somebody and a romance here is blooming and it does look like there's potential for it to go to the next level. Okay. And yeah. And, and for some of you, the, the month of April, you're just going to be really taking your time getting to know this person, um, even better. Okay. And may, and talking about what it is that you both really envisage for the future or what you envision for the future. So let's take a look and see at, um, for career and finance messages and guidance, please. 
for my Scorpios regarding career and finance. So we see health. Some of you, you're considering health, a, a career in the healing arts, whether that's acupuncture, Reiki, massage, maybe being a doctor, a nurse, um, something along those lines. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. And for those of my Scorpios who are really, you know, putting in overtime and that sort of thing, I'm also getting some of my Scorpios out there who work on their feet a lot, um, being very tired. There's a strong indication to pay attention to your physical health um, when it comes to work. Okay. But some of you you're thinking about, and this is confirmation about entering, you know, health, the health field, medicine, health and wellness. Um, I am open to seeing both sides of a situation, empathy. So I know my Scorpios out there, you're not only very intuitive, but you're also extremely empathic. So it makes you very natural healers and balance. So paying attention to work life balance. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. Yeah. So I do feel it is really important that whatever it is that you're working on, Scorpio spirit saying in the month of April, take that time to find and to have a work life balance. Okay. And we get Scorpio energy. There's an ending here, but it's an ending that's bringing a beautiful beginning. I'm learning that endings are merely beginnings. Yeah. So I think my Scorpios, you're beginning something new. Now, I'm not sure if the camera... The microphone is picking up on all the um, work outdoors. I hope it's not. And if you are hearing it, I do apologize. I am going to continue though, because I do feel like this reading is on point for the messages that my Scorpios need to hear for the month of April. So let's take a look at the attributes that you should explore, exploit for the month of April to be the most successful. Here's this energy coming through right on top of the four of pentacles, Midas and Miser entrepreneurial or creative ability to turn anything to gold and delight in sharing life's riches. Yeah. So I definitely feel a lot of my Scorpios are entrepreneurial or you're thinking about starting this new project, this new business. But what I'm seeing here is it's also important again, because I got stuck on that message a little bit earlier on in the reading. You don't have to spend a whole lot of money in most cases, right? Like sometimes we, we, you know, we get in our head, I need the best camera or I need the best tools. And yes, they are helpful and they're beautiful, but it does, it's, it's usually not what you need to at least start or take the first steps. Okay. And we have a teacher. Some of you, you're thinking about entering the teaching field. Um, you have great ability to communicate knowledge, experience, skill, or wisdom, and also trust the knowledge, experience, skill, and wisdom that you've gained thus far. Okay. Sourcing your wisdom from, you know, we see this, where do you find support possibly within, right? With this Scorpio energy. Um, and again, for some of you, you might be finding support. I'm, I keep getting this. I don't know if you have a professor or a teacher from your past, or it could be some type of instructor, a yoga instructor, an art, you know, an art teacher or something like that. Anybody, if somebody here that maybe taught you when you were younger might be somebody that you end up, um, talking to or getting some amazing advice um, and child magical. So spirit saying, yes, yeah, Scorpio, believe in the impossible. See the potential for sacred beauty in all things. And just don't forget that everything is possible. And it, it truly is. Sometimes we really forget that. Um, it truly is. And when it comes to relationships, understand the nature of healthy romance. Yeah. So I, I feel like for a lot of you too, this is very romance or relationship focused. Please let me know in the comment section down below how this is resonating with you, Scorpio. And if you like this style of reading, um, because like I said, I'm trying to figure out if it's something I'm going to add to the rotation or not. All right, let's see. Clear messages, advice, and guidance for my Scorpios. Final messages for my Scorpios. So we get the energy of turquoise. Awaken your empathy. That's coming out twice. Remember the power of your empathy, but also don't let your empathy keep you stuck in anything that, you know, isn't truly in alignment with you. Those of my Scorpios out there that work with um, crystals and healing, energy healing through crystal work, you may want to um, use turquoise in the month of April or wear it as jewelry. Rejoice and laugh. Remember to have fun. Remember that is why we are here, right? We are here to enjoy this human experience and watermelon have fun with your inner child yeah and a lot of my scorpios it's about really tapping into what does what does the younger version of myself what would they be so proud of that i were doing or that i had accomplished 
Um, and we see peach intake a breath of life. So take a deep breath. It's time to, you know, um, take that leap of faith like that full energy, perfect for Aries season. All right, Scorpios, I'm going to leave it here. I'm sending you so much love and light. Again, if these messages resonate, drop me a comment, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, also check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light. Take care.